That's absolutely correct. You know, tariffs or taxes, that's uh, kind of our motto these days over the Heritage Foundation has been for decades. Really what we're advocating for the Heritage Foundation is for the president to be addressing our concerns with China, which I think some of them are legitimately pointed out, with more effective means. So Treasury Department sanctioning individuals and companies that violate U.S. intellectual property laws, taking more cases to the World Trade Organization. Now's the time, while the economy is still strong, to cut back on federal spending. Uh, the president can also work with con Congress to provide certainty on the tax side. If we spend too much, there's the question whether the tax cuts that were just enacted will be able to be extended. Some of those expire. So cutting spending now, reducing the debt and providing that certainty on the trade side, but also on the tax side, those are the best remedies the President and Congress could uh, approach right now, and that will allow for strong growth going forward. They've all kind of suffered some collateral damage from you know, China upending the world trade system and the U.S. Uh, really taking the lead in uh, confronting China. And, uh, President Trump really is finding it lonely at the top, uh, and uh, certainly the tariffs are not the uh, preferred solution. As soon as, the sooner the tariffs can end, the better. But uh, meanwhile, I think it's, it's a good sign, at least for right now. A lot of these fires are legal. Um, they've been cleared to clear way for farmers and, and cattlemen. Some of them are Ill illegal because of the stringent regulations that there are on um, clearing way for Amazon uh, deforestation. And so that's where the money should be allocated to taking care of the fires that are happening illegally and also to compensating the farmers and the cattlemen for lost economic opportunities. From every estimate that I've seen from peer reviewed literature um, coming out of MIT, from um, things that we've produced at the Heritage Foundation, the American Action Forum has looked at the cost of the Green New Deal. It seems as if the, the costs of these policies are going to outweigh um, both the benefits in terms of climate reduction, uh, but also any type of costs from uh, climate change itself.